everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this. Um, it's kind of an explosion box in terms of when we open it, it all pops out. Um, but this time it's a triangular shape with this curved closure on the top. Now I saw this picture on the internet just in Google Images. And as you can see, it's in Chinese. Um, and yeah, I think I've got a pretty good representation of that. You can see, I think this one is a little bit longer, but I'm really pleased with the with the outcome. So that's the inspiration for today's project. And then I finished it off with a little happy birthday sentiment and some little faceted um, embellishments there. And then this real life plastic butterfly um, on the top. It's using the, the yeah Nature's Grace papers. So they've got the butterflies in. So they just seem to work really well. And I was looking back at my tutorials and I seem to use a lot of butterflies. I mean, I do like them, but it's not something that, you know, I guess I go, well, I guess I do really like because I use them all the time and I'm using them again now. So anyway, right. So I've got another sheet from this paper pack, which is here. So it's that one there. You use this loads. Got about four sheets left now and it's just beautiful. Really like that one. Again, I'll share all the links in the video description um, below um, on my blog. So I've already done my little sentiment. You don't need to watch me do that. Um, so that's all ready to go. I've got my paper and these are all the butterflies I've got. I brought these from Walmart and um, they come with a backing with like a silver. Um, so they're basically the butterflies printed twice. But I mean, it does look pretty real when it's not got the glare of the light on it. I think they're brilliant. Um, and I've had these for ages. I brought these oh, early last year and they've just been in this drawer and I had a little mooch around my craft room and thought oh I haven't used these let's get them out so yeah there you go so I'm going to be choosing another one of those I might put the little yellow one on there maybe um okay so this is what you need so it's just a one sheet wonder as they say and this is 10 by 12 okay so I'm going to flip it over and do the scoring on this side because you will be able to see it better when I lift it up but along the 10 inch side, you want to score at three inches all the way down. Push that in a bit further, a little bit off. And at seven, all the way down, okay? Then rotate your card onto, so you can see there, those two, all right? Then what we're gonna create is these score lines. So we're creating a box just in the middle, but you don't wanna score on these sides. So what you wanna do is lie in the 12 inch position um, with your ruler. You want to sit your ruler at four and a half, okay, like so. And then you want to make sure it's lined up. I'll just come up here. It's lined up with the four and a half at the bottom. So I've got a marker here in black, just here. You may just pick it out as a little black marker, which is at three inches. So I can just now count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is then four inches and then four, which will give me the half. So one, two, three, four, and I can see there it lines up perfectly with my ruler. Okay, so with that in mind, you then just want to score the middle part. So from the score lines that you just created, you just want to join them up in the middle. You don't want to score on the top or the bottom. And then the next one, move along and score at seven and a half. So again, line your ruler up. I've got another marker at the bottom here, which I've popped in at six inches. So again, I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the four, one, two, three, four, and just move my ruler there so it's nice and flush. And then again, I nearly went there and done the wrong bit, just score in the middle, and it will fit perfectly into the little score line well or track. Okay, so you will now see that I've got these two long score lines, which were the ones that you done along the 10 inch side, the three and the seven inch. And then you've got these ones in the middle, which are along the 12 inch side, which is four and a half and seven and a half. Okay, so that's all the scoring with the scoreboard. Get rid of that. Then what you want to do is along the 12 inch side, so your ruler will line up perfectly along there. What you want to do is with a pencil is just mark the middle points as so six inches. Okay. And again, on the other 12 inch side, 
just mark at six. And then just, you're not going to draw a line, but just make sure that that is nice and straight. I mean, I'm using my grid here and it is all lining up perfectly. And it should go through the middle of that square in the middle, in the center. Then what you want to do is flip it so that you've got the 10 inch side this way. And from the square, so here's the square in the middle, up from each side, up, up from each corner of the square, you want to put a little pencil mark at three and a quarter. So just flip it on this side. So I've got my square in the center here. Just pop, pop in my ruler at the three and a quarter there and then put a little pencil mark. Then go along to this side, three and a quarter, a little pencil mark. And then again, the corner down here, three and a quarter and here, three and a quarter. You can rub the pencil marks out in a minute. You'll probably find you will cut some of them off anyway, but you can see that I've just put little crosses and each of these crosses is three and a quarter from the four corners of the square in the middle. Okay, ignore if you can faintly see two lines there because I did go and score there. But what you can do if you do do that, if you're scoring like I have, is just flip it over and wherever you've got the lump of the score line, which is on this side for me, get your bone folder and just rub over it. And on this side, it's completely disappeared and you can only slightly see it on the white side. You can also use a rubber, but I find a bone, bone, a bone folder much better. Okay, so now what you need is, let me grab, so you need some, some circular um, piece. So again, I'm using my faithful, seem to be using these. I'm on a bit of a roll now with these at the moment. Just, so what you want to do is, with your, whatever this is that you're using, a plate, a cir any, circle, any circular piece, but it needs to be able to meet the two crosses side by side here. And you just want to bring that up. So in my case, I'm going with the inner circle of this until it meets with those crosses. And then all I'm going to do is with a pencil is just do a little arch. So you can see there what I've just done. And it will just come up to the very edge of that 12 inches. I mean, if you're using an oval shape, you can do, but sometimes you might be... An oval is obviously, I'll do it on here, like that. If you go more over this side, then you're going to have a, a, a wonky curve. You know, it's quite hard to sit perfectly in the middle of an oval shape all the time. Whereas with a circle, it's the same all the way around. It doesn't matter. So try and use a circle because it does, um, it will make life easier. Just get rid of that quickly before I forget. Okay, then um, do the same on the other end. So again... like so okay and then you want to do the other side so you're going to go in this way now and connect it up that way and it will give you the exact same arch this is what I mean if you're using an oval the likelihood of getting that exact is is hard to do whereas with a circle you won't have any problems and then again on this side like so now, as I said before, what, if you're new to paper crafting or you haven't done this kind of stuff before, then do it all in pencil first because you can rub it out. But what you can do is if you are already confident with using and doing this kind of thing, what we're gonna, now going to do is we're going to score over this pencil mark. So you, if you know what you're doing and you, you, know, you don't need to do the pencil at the beginning, you can just go straight in with your stylus but now you're just literally going over that and you're joining that score line that we've just done then with the two score lines either side here then again flip it around and do it and you're doing it on the inside one because the outside one we're going to cut it's just the inside like so okay so this is all the preparation now you're probably going to end up cutting away the outer pencil line but just while I'm here I'm just going to rub out the inner one because that one would be seen once it's open like so then what you want to do is another um, again you can free cut this free cut this you can freehand cut this there's a lot of this is you know the, the easiest way I found to make this little kind of box so what you want to do now is with your ruler and your pencil very lightly because again this is just going to be a cut line you just want to 
join up the corner here to that six inch little pencil mark. Again, do it on the other side. This template you will be able to find on my blog. Okay, so you can revert to the template like so. And just do that again on the other side like so. So you can see now we've got this kind of odd shape. Then you want to, again, you can use your pencil if you want, but you're now going to do a triangle. So that six inch marker, we're going to join to these corners here. This is the side of this inside box. So I'm going to draw it in pencil just so that you guys can see it. But if you again know what to do, just go straight in because these are going to be score lines. You can see what I've done. So that's that inside square, the side of it. You just want to join up to that six inch and then again, do a pencil mark to here. There and there. But now we're going to score over these, that's what I mean, you don't have to do that pencil mark but if it, you find it will help you better then go for it because you can just rub it out. So now I'm going to go and score over all of those pencil lines, okay, and then just rub them back out again. Okay, so now the only pencil marks that you should be left with are these big ones here and the curves at each end. All the rest should be score lines. So now you can just grab your scissors and literally go around and cut that all out. Before we burnish it, it's just easier to do it when it's all nice and flat. So just very neatly along there. And then with your neatest cutting, you want to work your way around those arches. Okay, so that is the shape you should have. Okay, it's kind of like a Christmas decoration, isn't it? One of those fancy ones. And then you should have your square score lines in the middle, two long score lines here, and then triangular score lines here and here. And these little kind of, I guess it's like a cat's eye, the inside of a cat's eye, that kind of shape. So now we can go and burnish everything. So just carefully. And then that inside one. So now when we go to, so we fold, Fold those ones in a minute because you don't want to fold across here. So just fold, pinch in your little, um, you know, whatever this shape is. And you just want to kind of help it into place like so. And then again with this side here. Like so. Then um, fold your triangle, so you want to fold in and just create nice score lines there. Okay, so now what we want, to bring this in, this piece here needs to be folded. Now you can score, do another score line here, but I've just found it a bit of a faff. It's much easier if you just basically bring the triangle part up, okay, this side, then the side with the curved piece, bring that over and you want it to line up perfectly. So this corner here should line up with the top of your triangle, which mine does. Now you can see inside, this has kind of got this shape. If you line, lie it on its side, I'm trying to do it so you can see it, so like so. Okay, and then just fold it down on one side, just so you can burnish the end. So now I've just performed a, so again, this is the triangle, this is the top with the arch. You're bringing it so that it meets up at the top there. And then on that piece inside, just pinch it like so. Okay, so now it gives you that pop effect. And by doing it by pinching it and not burnishing it, it gives it more of a bouncy feel. So again, I'm just gonna go around to that next side. Always make sure that this all lines up before you pinch it into place. So now I can see if I bring that together, I've got a really nice corner, okay? So again, on this side, just bring those up. Okay, so now you can see it's all coming together. Then you should now just be able, because we've just burnished those pieces, pop those on top and there is your gift box. So we're going to put a Velcro dot on that in a minute, but then once they open it, you want it to pop open. So it's like that pop box I done, but it's just 
obviously a different shape. So let me grab my Velcro. So this is the, I use the brand Velcro. So you get your hook and loop on separate pieces. So that's the hook. So just take one of them off and cut one of the loops off. Like so again, I'll share all the links, but these are the 16 millimeter ones that I get off of Amazon and you get loads. You can use magnets if you want. You could just use ribbon to, 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 to tie it up. <laughs> Got a stutter coming on. Okay, so just pop them together and remove the backing off of one of the sides. It doesn't matter which. Then choose if you've got a preference to the, the lid. I mean, they've both got butterflies on mine, but I think I prefer this one because it's got all three of them on. So that's going to be the top. So you want to put your Velcro or whatever it is you're using. You may want to put a little hole punch through this bit and feed the ribbon through. And then when I bring it together, make sure your corners are all married up and neat and then stick it down. So I'll leave that there for a minute. Then I've got my little sentiment, which I'd already put my backing on. So that will just go, see I don't want it to cover the butterflies. Maybe I'll put this a little bit higher up, but slightly over to that side this time. There we go. And you can still see all those lovely little butterflies. And then let's choose a butterfly. So, um, see that's a good one as well. That looks quite nice against that. I think I'm going to go for that one. That was quick. I thought I would have taken a bit longer. I'm uh, quite indecisive when it comes to things like that. I sit here talking to myself for ages. So I'm just refolding them because sometimes they've got dodgy where they've been obviously through the, the factory, but they've kind of bent them in the wrong part. So because um, I've peeled these off, what was on, they were on their original sticker, I need to add. And because these are plastic, again, you want to pop the um, red tape because it will stick better. And then that one is going to go, I'm going to pop that one there this time. There you go. But I think they look really real. I'm looking at it down through the camera now and I think they look so real. So there you go. So that is that. So it's... Again, I, I guess I don't find it hard because I'm so used to doing all this, but I don't think it is particularly hard. It's just all about precision, getting all those score lines right, getting those pencil lines correct. But now when I open this one up, I just carefully, because I haven't lifted that off yet, just go over that Velcro, the dots on each side. But you can fill that now with treats, put some you know nice jewellery in there or something and wrap it in tissue if you're putting a gift so just if it is loose it doesn't fall out but it holds itself up on the sides and I just think they're really nice and as always I can now because these are travelling with me so both of these are just going to go completely flat and be sandwiched in between a paper pack or something to keep them all nice and safe um, but yeah there you have it so they're so quick and easy to do if you've got a party and you want to do these as little favours um, they're great to do have a little convey about going with them all so there you have it so if you've enjoyed today please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more thanks for watching bye